What's up, student institution? Say PGT. Just want to make a quick and short video to update you guys about the unmodified lids. If you've been watching my content for a while now, you would know that I was a big fan of the unmodified lid tech. After using the unmod lids for over a year now, I want to share with you my experience with them and the mistakes I've made so that I can save you some time or some headache in your micro journey. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with the unmodified lids, I have a video explaining them on my channel here. You can check it out. I'm going to simplify things down a little bit and just go over the pros and cons of each. So with the unmodified lids, uh, the pros, there's no need to drill holes in them. They're pretty much ready to go as is. They are reusable if you want to use them for other purposes as a lid, uh, that's fine. Uh, last pro is it's cheap and easy. The cons, however, uh, it's possible for contamination to enter the jars through the way these lids provide gas exchange. From my experience with them, I've had jars that end up fully colonized. Uh, however, I have not get to them in time and have let them sit a little bit longer. And I've noticed uh, Trechoderma was able to enter through the top of the jar and any bits of mycelium towards the top uh, contaminated with Trechoderma. The next con I'm going to go over is when you're using the unmodified plastic lids, uh, I've learned that they can create a vacuum seal on your jars if you take them out of the pressure cooker while they're still hot. Uh, typically I don't take them out when they're hot, I let them cool down in the pressure cooker, but I do take them out when they're hot if I'm doing like a no soak, no simmer tech. And I found out the hard way that after letting them cool, uh, I can't unscrew the lids on my jars to inoculate them. The vacuum was just way too strong. Now you wouldn't have this issue with the traditional metal lids. This is only with the plastic lids. Right now we'll go over the pros of the modified lids. Uh, one, you get guaranteed gas exchange. Number two, it helps keep contamination out during the colonization phase. Anything that wants to get into the jar won't be able to because of the filter. If you're finding you're still having contamination issues with the modified lids, it probably has to do more with your sterile techniques. And the last bit is you don't ever have to worry about the vacuum seal issues uh, with the modified lids on your jars. Uh, the cons to habit modified lids, uh, you'll have to do some work to modify your lids, obviously. You can't reuse your lids for anything else other than mycology related things. And the last con is that the gas exchange filters will need to be replaced depending on how often you run them through the pressure cook cycles. They are created to be disposable or have a limited amount of reusability and it will just be a recurring cost in your micro expenses. So with this said, uh, moving forward I will be using the modified lid tech. Although I did enjoy using the unmod lids for a while, my experience with them time and time again have caused some minor frustrations which the modded lids will solve. If you're looking to make your own modded lids, I highly recommend Microposite products. They are so easy to use, you literally just peel them and stick them onto your jars. I have an affiliate link in the description below. If you use the discount code PGT, you'll get 10% off your order. So help support the channel and get some kick-ass mycology products and keep on growing.